Good morning there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my YouTube and BitChu simulcasting together. This will be on my gaming channel. Uh, to those that are well aware, this is a video response to Penguin Zero, also known as Moist Something. I forget his full name, of his full username, original username. It's called Moist Towelettes or some shit like that. Sorry, Penguins, I don't know your, your original name, but I know you as Penguins for many years. I've been listening and following you for about at least five years now. You must have been around a lot longer than that, so this will be interesting. So basically, he's talking about the things he hated about anime. Now, I know that I recently uploaded some you know, videos or for the last several days, especially today, tonight, uh, some controversial issues, things that matter. But he's right. Anime, talk about anime publicly on the internet with your voice and your, your demeanor and your face out there. It's like suicide. Way worse than suicide bombings and fucking World War Three altogether because, you know, talking about this stuff all publicly is, uh, is going to hinder your reputation among the anime community. Especially if you are a fan of Ruby or uh, Gundam, perhaps a little bit of uh, Dragon Ball, that type of stuff. So, but definitely Ruby is definitely, it's the most recent controversy I've ever as a specific example of what Penguins is saying. So, what I'm trying to say, well, Based on my experience, and I think I mentioned this in one of my uh, older videos, to those who are well aware of what I did in the past, last year especially, with that video, uh, I talked about Ruby and sexuality and stuff like that, all well and good, you know, it happened for how many years, from, from the early 2000s, in my perspective, my time, to about, you know, to now is, is prevalent. It's all female now, or all female characters talking the, mo the most. Uh, there's always short up skirts, there's always show boobs, and I don't mean boobs, boobs, like, like exposure of boobs. I'm talking about like cleavage and under boobs, side boob, you name it. The boobs all around, you know, without the nipples. They try to tease the audience, us males, or the 12 year old, 13, 14 year old male out there. You know, that was a big deal, right? I was one of them, you know? But prior to the 2000s, Videos and uh, original video series, uh, anime like Tenchi, 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 Tenchi Muyo, and um, Gundam Wing, which is a 1990s version of, of the Gundam Meta series. Those were they didn't show too much sexual appeal. They were sexual appeals in and dumb, yes. If you want to be fucking anal about it, be detail oriented, very analytical about the matter back then, because it's hard to come by in that, in those, around those times. Especially in the 1970s with the first Gundam series, or Astro Boy. Astro Boy is considered one of the first ever animes to be put out there. If you want to include the 8th Man around that time too. The 8th Man is a, about less how like the Million Dollar Man back in the 1980s. But the Million Dollar Man is a real life related matter, and it's different genre altogether, but the 8th Man, Astro Boy, those are the original animes ever. To those who are hardcore anime fans, you know what I'm talking about, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you still hardcore, you still don't call me a prick, or call me a, a perv for mentioning these things, or whatever the case may be, call me nigger, yeah, it happened back on Twitter last year. To those who, are, who see on my Twitter feed, it's not, they, they, they delete their tweets, my tweets are still there. You see that, I say, I say, hey, girl, or hey, something to this lady, like, hello, fellow Ruby fan, whatever. She told me, oh, shut up, nigger. So shit like that, she still has it up there, I bet. I bet she still has that tweet up there. Because it shows a monkey acting all crazy and all, and my name says, at Dr. Gaiman. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? This is one of the reasons why I, I didn't want to get too involved with the, the anime community, specific, specifically with the Ruby community, the RWBY. It's a web series uh, from, uh, from the 2013 2014 time. That's when it started the series, and it was created by Monty Om. Um. Now, he was the original creator and was more relevant than any before of his creations. After uh, before his death, he died in 2015, and since 2016, of uh, Ruby Volume Four and Beyond, it, it the show turned into this weird shift, and I didn't understand and grasp it too much at first. So I was like, "What am I watching now?" I thought it was about revolution and you know overthrowing the government or changing the past or changing history and stuff like that. And hope we're no place here, baby, it's you or born with. 
No life into subjugation. Treat it. I mean, that's volume one right there from Shadows. I mean, that's like subjugation, what we as humans experience. Whether it's from me as a whatever on my part of the city, or someone from anyone else on the other part of the city, or a town, or a city, or world even. You know, there's always some form of oppression. There's always going to be some form of discrimination. There's always going to be some form of, you know, inequality and racism and, you know, downright just straight old, you know, competition. That's how it is. One, one group of people dominates another group of people and vice versa in certain areas and times. But that's another situation of his own that sounds political and politics. But getting back to the point, Penguin said, look, guys, to those anime fans out there, calm down, especially the Ruby fans, calm down on, twi on Twitter, the Ruby fans on Twitter especially, calm down. I like Ruby. I like Yang the most. You know, the shotgun gauntlets, you know, with her power-up punches and stuff like that, you name it. Beating the crap out of Junior in her trailer. I like that move, you know, with that super punch. You know, fighting those, those twin sisters, Nikita and whatever their names are. They, they only mention once, in, in the tr in the only in the trailer. But anyway, look, we all love these things. We all love what anime has been, been evolved over the last 40 years. 40 years, yes. Since the 1970s. 1960s was the start of it all. In my, not only in my perspective, also in history. And like I said, Astro Boy, the eighth man, they were the first among the anime. And they weren't really sexually appealing. They wasn't showing off skirts and shit like that. They weren't sh trying to be all feminine with every single character, whether it's a male or female. You know, all well, I like females in my anime. I like the waifus. I like the artwork I see on Twitter and deviant art and well, pixivate if you want to call it. I, I mean, I like it all. I you see it on my Twitter feed. That's why maybe my Facebook as well. If you know my Facebook, if you don't want to dig through it, you know, it, it, with Twitter definitely you see me. Oh man, this guy's a, a pervert or he's a rapist. He's a misogynist. He's gonna destroy the world. He's the next Hitler. He's gonna fucking take over the world without no medication. What's wrong with this guy? You know, whatever they think of these people online, especially the from the within the anime community, it's kind of strange though because we're all crazy on the inside at times, you know. But uh, yeah, man, quit Penguin. This is ridiculous. This is like talking about this stuff is like taboo in a public setting. Maybe in a chat room or in a private chat or private forum. That's one thing. But if it's out here on YouTube, what you did, I congratulate you, man. You are the hero of the century in anime. So keep it up there, man. And I respect you. You're a little bit weird at times, which is obviously we're all weird at times when I ask anime fans, right? But, you know, it is what it is, right? You are the man. It comes down to exposing and also talking about what's going on with OnlyFans and talking about what's going on with this trends with the, you know, the other stuff. You know, I don't have to mention it with your podcast at all. Got my podcast, the El Let's Discuss Gaming podcast that starts every two weeks, starting uh, next weekend. Uh, I have been for the last year as a co-host. You know, but anyway, you know, like I said, it's, 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 a, it's, it's like anyone's game in the anime. That's why one day, in my perspective, and I know I should have mentioned this right now, I should mention this decades later, but if I ever have a shit ton of fuck you money, I know that sounds weird, if I have a shit ton of fuck you money or F you money, and I it's billions of dollars, and I got some leftovers of it, I'm going to create a museum of waifus and anime and other forms of artwork, and it has to be digital, yes. It has to be, because that's how they make it, these newest artists. They don't have to really do Picasso and Michelangelo and uh, John John Clover, whatever his name is, the one that did that real-time photography shit. If they could do that, real-time photography format of artwork, I'll put it in the description box, what is, what is it mean by the John guy? But he's a good creator of that artwork. If, if those waifu makers, those Art artist guys that makes those white foods and shit. If you do it on that canvas, on that in that realism as a photo light, dude, they'll be sold for millions of dollars in the future. Even after I die and build that um, museum, that museum will be bigger than a news of uh, the news organization or news the museum of news and shit like that. It's gonna be bigger than that. It's gonna be like the art, bigger than that most likely. I want everyone to see what I collected and you collected as well, right? 
Penguin, whoever. We're like, we're sh we'll compile all the artwork together and just, just fucking analyze it, put it into these little swiper rules on the machine and stuff. Like, it's gonna be an awesome. It's awesome. All right, I gotta talk too much. It's, I'm in a good mood today after I put my shit out there. But uh, anyway, this is Dr. Game signing out. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Donate to my excuse me, Patreon, Dr. Games 101. I'm, I'm having a good time talking about this stuff because it's all big plans for me. It can be the destructive path or the creative path. And I'm still in a situation where I can choose either one. So it's like, you know, we'll see what happens in the next few decades. All right, guys. See you around. Bye. <laughs>